Hello, my name is Tanya Grady and I have the great fortune to be here with the world-renowned Mr. George Frazier. How are you, Mr. Frazier? I'm doing Thank you for stepping out of Absolutely. this beautiful Five Links event where he was the keynote speaker giving us all a little bit of just, I mean, I couldn't even tell you how I felt about the information that you gave us. The one thing that I do love is that you have to learn, then earn, and return. That's right. Tell the folks about that. Yeah, I, I think the mantra for black people for the 21st century has to envelop a new kind of mindset and a new kind of consciousness. And that consciousness will be driven by three operative words. Learning, earning, and returning. Returning back to the community, reaching down and lifting up, and reaching back and pulling forward. Because there is no one that's going to save black people but black people. That is our fundamental responsibility as elders. And so if we accept that responsibility and understand that we have to do it, no one is going to do it for us, then that's driven by those three words. Learning, earning, and returning. Because if you want to earn more, you have to first learn more. That means that we must be engaged as a people in personal growth and development, constant never ending improvement, and lifelong learning. That we must improve our E to E ratio. E to E ratio. What is that? Education to entertainment. White people spend $11 on education for every $1 they spend on entertainment. Black people spend $11 on entertainment for every $1 they spend on education. So we have to reverse that, and when we reverse that amongst our people and our culture and our community, that will enable us to learn, thus increase our earnings, and then once we increase our earnings and we're able to fulfill Maslow's hierarchy of needs, food, clothing, shelter, education for ourselves, for our family, for our children, then that which is left over time, town and treasure, we come back to our community, we reach down, lift up, and reach back. So that's a long way around, but I wanted to let you know the full month. Okay, and here is my second question to you, Mr. Frazier. Mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough to receive the information that you gave tonight at the Five Links event, but what I would want to do is put you on the spot right now because I don't have a problem doing it. I really believe that the youth here in Brooklyn need to hear the information and the wisdom that you just gave that room right there. I want to be able to bring you into the Brick Media Art House Center, which is downtown Brooklyn. It's a state-of-the-art facility. I would love to bring you down there, do an interview with you with nothing but youth. And they need to hear that information. You growing up in Brooklyn, best I, growing up right here and going from Forster home to Forster home and becoming a world-renowned speaker, life coach, you know, giving advice to people like Oprah. They need to hear that because they can connect with that. So I want to put you in a spot and I want to say, if I can make that happen, would you come back and do that? Well, of course, sure. So that's on you. Make it happen. <laughs> I'll make it happen. Right? And, uh, um, you know, we have to be about yes. what we preach. We have to model the behavior that we expect of our people. And so we don't we can't just talk about it. We have to be, we have about, to be it. about it. Right. Okay, let me just get you to give one last word of advice to anybody who was not at this event who should have been here. What advice would you give to them on how to make that next level breakthrough? I, I think that if I was to give you just one piece of advice, and it would be to develop new habits that will serve you and break the bad habits that don't serve you. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Here is a badass habit that black people have. White people don't have this habit. This habit is unique to black people. According to 
AC Nielsen Company, which does all the coding. I worked for Nielsen, yes, right. I know about it. <clears throat> they put out a report last year on African Americans television viewing. And here's what they said about black people in America. That the average black person in America watches 72 hours of television a week. We watch 40% more television than any people in this country. That's 10 hours a day. So if you are a black person watching 10 hours a day, first, you need your ass kicked. <laughs> Secondly, you can't be about any damn thing because you're watching television for 10 hours, you're working for eight or nine hours, you're sleeping for eight hours, that means there's nothing else you're doing in life, right? So that's a bad ass habit. We need to change that habit. We need to reduce the amount of hours that we watch television and invest those hours in reading and learning and growing our business growing uh, in our profession. That's what we need to do. We need to spend more money on investing in our minds. And so that's a habit that can take time, but I ask you to reduce your television viewing by 50%. Don't watch 10 hours of television a day. How about five hours? And use the other five hours to build and start a business, to sell a product or service, or to take a course in community college, take an online course, or something that will help you improve your skills and your subject matter expertise so that you can do what? Earn more. Excellent. So there you have it from Ms. I promise you, but it's for the youth because I think the youth need to hear this information. I think it's critical to the next generation. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.